G'day, Dave here from Enerdrive. Today, we're going to talk about BTEC lithium batteries and what to do should you accidentally run your battery completely flat. A little known fact with all lithium batteries with internal BMSs is that when they run flat, internally, they actually switch off, making it impossible for your battery charger to automatically begin charging the battery again until we actually reset the battery. So today, we're going to talk about different ways you can reset your battery should you accidentally flatten it completely. If you're lucky enough to have one of the new Enerdrive BTEC batteries, the second generation, you will note that your battery is complete with a reset button. These are very easy to use. All you need to do is switch off all of your loads, including fridge, lighting, pumps, and so forth. Start your vehicle, assuming you have an Enerdrive DC to DC charger, or failing that, plug into mains power or generator. Press and release after 10 seconds. At that point, the BMS inside this battery should be reconnected. Ensure that your battery is charging and ensure that you fully recharge the battery. Switch back on your loads and you're done. It's that easy. However, in some cases, a battery can be awkward to get to. So there are alternative ways to wake up the battery BMS. Let's go through that now. Most BTEC lithium systems by Enerdrive are complete with our ePower battery charger. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a system complete with an ePower battery charger, you're in luck. As long as you have access to a generator or mains power, resetting your battery is an easy thing to do, and I'm going to show you how. For the purposes of this video, as you can see, I've used the humble set of jumper leads. Now we need to assume this is in a permanent fitted location. So you wouldn't see alligator clamps. It would actually be hardwired to your power system, including your battery charger. Now this particular charger is currently set for lithium, but as you can see, we have zero volts. And once again, that's because this battery is so flat that internally the BMS, the battery management system has switched off. There is no power to the terminals, hence the charger sees zero volts and it won't begin charging. So what do we do? With the e-power charger, it's easy. You have your menu button here. We simply press and hold that until our top menu is flashing. And you can see at the moment it's flashing lithium. That's because up to now it's been set up as a lithium charger. We simply hit our select button and we go to program. On our e-power chargers, program is power supply fixed voltage coming out of the terminals to the battery. Press set. This is set to 13.7, that's fine. Press set again. The battery's flat, just to be nice and kind to it, I've chosen to dial the current down to five amps. It's a very flat battery, I don't want to abuse it at this stage. So five amps output with a fixed voltage of 13.7. It's that easy. Press set again, press menu. Already you can now see that we have voltage in the battery. It's up to 11.6. That battery is now awake. It's taking charge. Our recommendation is to always leave it on that mode for at least half an hour. Slowly bleed a little bit of power back into your battery. Now that we've had the battery connected to the charger in program mode, which is effectively power supply at just five amps for approximately half an hour, we're ready to set it back up as a lithium charger. Now, the good news is that you don't have to reprogram anything as such. So long as you go back to lithium, the charger will remember its previous settings. So it's quite straightforward to do. Our menu button, press and hold. Our select button, select across all your battery types until you get to lithium. Press set. Now at this point, it retains all the previous settings that you set for lithium. So all we need to do is press menu and you're done. You're back to having a lithium battery charger. Your battery is now awake and accepting charge and it's good to go. We just need to wait now until our battery is fully charged. So you've seen how to reset your battery if you're lucky enough to have an e-power charger and have access to mains power or a generator. But what should we do in the event of not having access to mains power or a generator? It's quite likely that when you flatten this, that will be the case while free camping. 
Effectively, all we did before via the program mode was we put 12.8 volts or higher, that's the specification required by the battery, to reset the battery. We applied that voltage to the terminals via this charger. So effectively, you could do that with a set of jumper cables, for instance. You could also do it via a button, a reset button, as part of a good installation, which is what we're going to show you now. If you're considering purchasing one of these batteries and installing it yourself or paying someone to install it, we at Enerdrive highly recommend that you ask for the reset button feature. Effectively, all the reset button will do is give you a means to apply voltage from your starting battery system down to your flat BTEC battery, bypassing your DC to DC charger. It's another form of jump start to the battery. As soon as the battery wakes up, your finger comes off the button and your DC to DC kicks in. So let's go through that procedure now. So in this scenario, we're relying on our DC to DC charger only to charge our VTEC battery. Our battery is flat, we're off grid. We don't have access to mains power or a generator, but we do have a DC to DC charger. Hopefully you've got a reset button installed in your system. This particular one is also backlit and at the moment you can see that it's not lit up. That tells us that the BMS is switched off, our battery is flat. We've gone through and switched off all of our loads, but we've also started up the vehicle as well. And you can see here that our DC to DC charger is still off. The screen is not lit up in any way. So all we do is press and hold our reset button for approximately five to 10 seconds. And when we release, if everything's worked perfectly, that green light remains on. That tells us now that the BMS has reset. The battery is now on, accepting charge, in this case, from our DC to DC charger, which is exactly what we're trying to achieve. If you haven't got a reset button in your BTEC build, it's a great addition to any system. It's just good peace of mind to know that in the event of accidentally discharging your battery all the way, you have another means to get yourself out of trouble without the need to find an alternative power source. You can do it all from your existing system in your vehicle. So we've gone through using an e-power battery charger. If you were unlucky enough to flatten your battery all the way, and if you have access to a generator or mains power and an e-power battery charger, that's your jet get out of jail card. It works, no problems at all. If you don't have access to either mains, generator or a battery charger, you've seen the reset button option. If you have one of those installed, it can also get you out of trouble simply by switching off all your loads, starting the engine and using that button according to how it's designed. If you don't have that option up your sleeve, your last get out of jail card is a humble set of jumper cables. In this case, we've got a flat battery in our caravan. We've removed it from our caravan and we've sat it beside our vehicle. So the battery is completely separated from its original installation. We've got the humble set of leads right here. They're connected to the battery in the car under the bonnet. And all I'm doing is connecting it to the battery as though I was doing a jump start. And we're going to start the car, thanks Wayne. Now at this stage, we've got charging voltage from the alternator supporting this battery. It will have already woken the battery up, it's fair to say. You're fine to leave it on there for a couple of minutes if you're not sure. The battery will be reset. The BMS is back in action. Within a couple of minutes, feel free to disconnect the battery, put it back in your van, and you're all done. You're ready to go to continue enjoying your holiday. Thanks guys for listening. Enjoy your travels.